Hey guys, welcome back to Recreational Sniper. You know, since we're getting into this whole fitness thing, I thought I would take a little bit of time and kind of talk about what I'm doing so far. So right now, I'm kind of still in the middle of this whole bulk thing, and I've never really done a bulk when it comes to working out. There's been times where I would increase calorie intake, obviously, to try to gain a little bit of strength, gain a little bit of weight, but... I never was able to gain much weight when I was younger. I would just get stronger and leaner, but I never would really gain any weight. So uh, up until about four or five years ago. Now, I guess I've kind of matured a little bit, kind of, uh, you know, my body's kind of done going through all its growth and that sort of thing. I've matured in a way that I've filled out quite a bit and plus over the last like four or five years I really haven't worked out as much as I used to so that's a big part of it uh, and also going from a job where I was on my feet moving like walking you know sometimes like 10 miles a day on foot inside of a big store um, to a job now where I sit at a desk for nine hours and type in stuff on a keyboard uh, so that was a big change, and I've been doing that for the last three years, uh, and maybe a little longer. So that's really where most of my weight gain, I think, has come from, was going from being super active and having a super active job, and also going to working out at the gym, to now I kind of quit working out at the gym, and I went to a job where I was sitting at a computer. So over the past four to five years since that started or you know since my life kind of trended that direction I have gained about 50 pounds so I went from about 135 pounds when I first met my wife to now where I'm at at like I think I weighed the other day I'm at 185 which I've actually I lost a bunch of weight because I went from 182 and I lost weight down to I got down to like 168 intentionally and then I decided that I was actually going to try to do an actual bulk and then do, uh, you know, trim down here in a couple months or so. So doing the actual bulk, I've gotten up to 185, so I've gained back like 17 pounds in about two months, uh, maybe a little less than two months. So I'm gaining one to three pounds a week i know over the past couple weeks i really haven't made a whole lot of progress i think over the past two weeks i've only gained like three pounds um so progress on that slowed down a lot so when it comes to eating basically i'm eating about three thousand calories a day sometimes a little more than that um and for my height and build wise that puts me in a caloric surplus and I actually will gain weight at 3,000. I used to not, but I also used to have a super active job, like I said, and I also used to work out at the gym like t between two and three hours. Now I'm only working out at the gym a solid hour. Uh, I'm trying to get there a little earlier so I can add an extra 30 minutes of cardio in, but right now my workouts are only about an hour long and I'm only, when I'm doing my weight training, I'm only doing four different exercises and I'm doing six sets for each exercise so I'm doing one warm-up set for each exercise and then five working sets for each exercise and uh, that seems to be working out really well for me right now so but back to eating uh, 3,000 calories a day I'm getting in about 300 grams of carbs and about 200 to 225 grams of protein and then I'm keeping my fat in between 70 and 90 grams for fat. So uh, around about 29.50 to some maybe 31.50 on the carbs every day or on the calories every day. And that's about it. Um, breakfast, pre-workout breakfast is 250 grams of jasmine rice, uh, 50 grams of butter, and then, no, sorry, 25 grams of butter, 50 grams of honey. And 
and I found that this gives me the best workout I've ever had. That's what I eat before I go to the gym, about an hour before I go to the gym, or get to the gym and start my workout. That's what I eat, and I found that I've I get the best workout I've ever had, honestly. You know, and when you put in that one solid hour, you know, not resting too much, um, it it's awesome. So basically, I'm getting a portion of really fast carbs with sugar from the honey. I'm getting a bunch of slower burning carbs that will sustain me throughout my workout so that by the time I get to the end of it, I don't feel sick. <laughs> Um, and then also there's some fat in there and some salt from the butter. There's a trend going around where people are using salt and honey as a pre-workout, uh, like energy source. And so I think the salt from the butter combined with the honey in that meal is kind of doing the same thing for me. And so far, I don't think I've ever found like any sort of supplement out there that gives me the same amount of energy that eating that particular meal does and sometimes if I'm lazy and I haven't cooked my rice which I, I need to cook some now um, I will substitute like four pieces of toast for the same you know and that gives me basically the same amount of, of carbs that I'm looking for which is uh, trying to aim for about 100 to 120 grams of carbs before I go to the gym and then after the gym Immediately when I get to work, I'll have six eggs scrambled and I usually don't put anything on them I would prefer to put salt and pepper on but you know Dummy me most of the time I forget to bring that so I end up eating eggs plain six eggs plain which is Probably more difficult than you would think um, and then lunchtime I usually eat lunch around one or two o'clock in the around one o'clock in the afternoon and more rice there Except for we're switching from jasmine rice to brown rice. We'll do 250 grams of brown rice and then about 225 grams of chicken breast. And you can cook the chicken breast however you want. It's not battered and deep fried, obviously, but baked, grilled, air fried, however you want to do that. So, And then for dinner, I'll kind of change it up and eat something, whatever, you know, whatever the wife has got cooked for dinner as long as it kind of fits in with what I'm trying to do but I want to get in at least another 225 grams of chicken and and then at least another 250 some sort of 250 grams of some sort of carb source not 250 grams of carbs but you know really what I'm looking for is probably about a hundred grams of carbs, you know, and that can come in the form of, you know, pasta or rice or whatever. But lately I think eating the rice has really fixed some of some gut issues that I was having um, and kind of sorted that out. So plus eating the rice is when it binds, it, you know, it binds to water. So you usually cut it cook uh, one cup of rice with one cup of water together it binds and holds on to a lot of water so it also helps to put water in your body as you're breaking it down and digesting it and breaking down the carbs you're releasing that water into your cells and that sort of thing so it actually gets you really hydrated throughout the day um, especially helpful if sometimes you end up going a couple hours without drinking any water so something to think about there but anyways i just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys and then maybe in the next video we'll get into the specifics of how my workouts actually go and what kind of training i'm doing currently you know what kind of exercises and sets and reps and all that stuff which everybody's different you know you're not going to respond to the way i eat and the way i train the same way I respond to it you know what I mean so you really just have to I can tell you what I'm doing all day long but I don't know exactly if it would work for you or not that would be up to you to figure out um, you can potentially start doing what I'm doing and then once you get into it after a few weeks maybe start to adjust things at, as you find out that you know 
maybe I'm not getting enough protein or maybe I'm getting too many carbs or maybe too much fat or not enough fat and that sort of thing. You can adjust all that stuff. And, it, and it's the same thing for weight training. Um, I can kind of show you what I'm doing. And... Sorry, phone died. So yeah, I can show you what I'm doing for weight training, uh, the exercises I'm doing, the different, the amount of sets that I'm doing and the amount of repetitions per each set and that sort of thing. And then plus I can detail to you my uh, rest periods in between sets and how much I actually rest, how long I, I do it. Uh, because I actually do use a timer in between sets and I time my rest periods. And I think that that's actually pretty important. At least I've grown to realize that. I used to not worry about it at all, but I feel like I get way better workouts in if I actually time things. And the same thing with like using an actual food scale for measuring out my food. Um, I feel like it actually, you know, I get way better results doing that than trying to wing it and trying to estimate, just kind of guess at how much food I'm eating. So I definitely recommend, you know, if you're going to be serious about this, you need to be serious about it all the way. So not just your training at the gym. You can, you know, you, it, it, all of it has to come together. So you need your rest, you need your food, and you need your training. And you need all of it to be done correctly so get a food scale if you don't have one i would you know they're not that expensive uh you can get them for as cheap as like ten dollars or you can spend like twenty or thirty dollars on one as long as it will weigh things out in grams and it's pretty accurate then which most of them are these days uh i would get one of those but yeah you know i can show you how i'm training and everything and detail all the, how you know how I'm actually doing each thing you know the different like weight attachments and that sort of stuff that I'm using um, different types of equipment that I'm using and you can start there if you want and see how your body responds to it but you're not going to like really show a huge response to it in a week if unless you know or two weeks even, or three weeks probably. You're probably going to need at least a month, uh, probably realistically up to two months of consistent training, doing one thing a certain way before you see how your body actually is going to respond to that type of training for that one thing. So don't give up on it if you're not seeing results in a week, or two weeks even, or three weeks, or even four weeks. Uh, because the results just don't happen that quickly, uh, you know, for people that aren't using any chemical assistance. So, just stick with it and don't get discouraged. That's all I got to say there. I can show you what I'm doing, but I don't know how you're going to respond to it. So, it's up to you to maybe start with what I'm doing and then adjust it to what your needs actually are once you get into it, once you find your, your groove, your rhythm, find out what you need to do. And if you have questions or comments or anything, or you need me to further explain something, uh, you can go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. I will read them and I will respond to them. I read and respond to, I think, almost all comments on my youtube channel uh, whether it's about gun stuff or can be about fitness stuff or even life stuff sometimes so with that being said i hope you guys are starting out the new year on the right foot i hope everything's going great for everyone and we will see you next time in the next video thanks for watching